things you learn along the way. There is this company that is promoted on Commission Junction. I've always found Commission Junction to be challenging, but now I'm confident, I'm an expert, I reapplied to programs, I'll get to that in a moment, but we're here to talk about scamming. And it's a new way with everybody shopping online. Now, here's a company. I was like, wow, they immediately approved me. They were the first one in my Commission Junction account. Great, so what did I do? I added their banners on the top of my website and added their company name to the letter A shopping. Look what happens. That's not good. That's horrible. This is in Safari. Now, I tried in other browsers. This one is Firefox. Same thing happened. This popped up. Firefox blocked this page because it may trick you into doing something dangerous like installing software or revealing personal information like passwords and credit cards because if you're buying a product from commission well from that company and this is really bad for commission junction too but I'm happy I learned it right off the bat I I remember this from a few years ago but I didn't know what I was doing and when my account became very old I just started over and I said, wow, I've been down this road before. I can't believe they're still on Commission Junction. They shouldn't be allowed to. Because even this one, this one's an edge. This site has been reported as unsafe, hosted by Commission Junction. That makes them look really bad. However, big companies like, now let me share this with you. This is the back end of my newly created Commission Junction account. And for 20 years, I've had a problem with them. Every year or two, I give it another go, check it out, and never qualified. So I just reapplied to, I created an account a couple of months ago, they said no. But now I've really leveled up with my website. And I said, what do I have to lose? And I'll show you something else in a moment. BJ's, Costco, Rite Aid, Walgreens, they all said no to me, CVS. So I just reapplied. So let's see if they accept me because I've made a lot of changes, a lot of positive improvements that they might say yes now. Now, why show you that? But this, I'm happy this happened now because I'm going to take that off my website, of course. Um, let me see what I have open here. I'm sorry. That was Firefox, and this is Safari. Safari browser works great. I'm going to go in and take these off, of course. But in my commission junction, under account, you, I click on network profile. I might as well show you this now. Okay, I give a description. I reworded it, edited it. Manage promotional properties. Years ago, I didn't understand this. This was all foreign to me. And now, I went in the back end, and I did a great job. I let them know. I, I understand what it means, promotional property. You can add as many as you want. I'm going to focus on storebuy.shop. And I let them know my main way of promoting is websites. And I also let them know that blog, media, um, how I promote, where I'm promoting, how I'm doing it. Yes, I've become an influencer because I have a following and I plan on influencing much more. I have plans, everything's put into place and it should get easier and more fun. Content, blog, media, reviews and discovery and I named it storebuy.shop website because I'm going to keep everything separate. This will be the primary promotional property. And I added these tags to match that website with what I have on it now. Let me go to, it didn't look like this when I opened up a new Commission Junction account 
and I apply to Walgreens and CVS and BJ's. I would love to have them up here. Just like I am, I'm waiting for Walmart. I'm on the list to have a, an account cr created and they're just not ready. They don't have any of the codes ready for me to show on my websites. They're getting there. But when they see all of this, this wasn't like this. They might say yes now. So now I'm going to take these off. I thought I would show you the things you learn along the way. I'm going to take that down. Lesson learned. And I've been down this road before, but now I'm confident. It came right back to me. I went, wow. I remember. I can't believe they're still on there. They shouldn't be. So maybe they're selling a product. But I, however, every browser I opened, this warning came up. So be careful.